Hi Libra, welcome to your reading. If you're new to the channel, I do timeless readings, which means that whenever you find this video is when you're meant to hear the messages within it. And in case you subscribe, I upload my new videos for Aries and Libra on Mondays. So, I do want to let you guys know that the deck that I'm using today is called the Gilded Tarot deck. Um, and as always, if you guys are interested in getting a personal reading, my information is in the description below. So, just as a heads up, sometimes the cards like to flip over in the deck. I do see them, however, I usually only take the cards that jump out like these ones have. And usually if they jump out in groups that are too big, like these ones, I'll go ahead and put them back. So I'll only really take cards that are single jumpers. But my goal here is to get you guys roughly eight or nine cards. And then we can get started on your reading. So my goal here is to shuffle and get you guys about three or four more cards and then we can get started. All right, Libra. So I do want to remind you guys that in case you enjoy the reading or if it really resonates with you guys, the best way to let me know is by leaving a like or a comment. But your overall energy here is the strength card, which is actually a really great energy to have, right? Because we know that whenever the strength card comes out, you guys are gathering strength from somewhere. And I feel like right now you guys are gathering strength from a place that you didn't really even know that you had. I feel that for a lot of you guys, you've felt like you were kind of at your wit's end about a current situation and you were just kind of really stressed out, but now you're getting sort of like your second wind and you're able to really keep on fighting. And yeah, when I said that, I envisioned the seven of wands in my head and I looked down and sure enough, there it is. And also you have the nine of swords, which is stress and anxiety. So I'm not too terribly surprised that you guys are finding yourself in a situation like this. However, I do want to like reassure you guys that with this strength card here as the center of your reading, your energy is going to basically tenfold by the end of this week, I feel. And you're going to be so equipped to handle the situations that are ahead that you're going to really make bigger strides than you thought were possible. And you know, you're going to feel like you've made a lot of progress. And I, I'm almost getting that you guys are going to get like these random spikes of energy where you're like, oh, I'm so tired. Oh, I can't do anything. And then bam, it hits you and suddenly you can do a whole lot more. And this goes for, you know, a physical strength as well as a mental, emotional and spiritual strength. Right. And for some of you guys, it's going to be all of the above all at once. So that's going to be a, a wild ride for a lot of you. But um, I see the Tower card and the Nine of Cups here. So this is actually a really weird combination. I'm thinking that for a lot of you guys, you were actually wishing for this sort of tower moment, right? And that to me feels like you were finding yourself in a situation where you felt uh, helpless or like you couldn't really do anything by yourself right? Like you needed the help of some either person or external force. And I feel like that's what this tower card is. It's sort of the answer to your prayers in a way that is, you know, this is ripping off the band-aid. This isn't sugarcoating something um, so you feel better. This is like big, huge change because this is what you need. And it's wish fulfillment. So it's going to be in a sector where you really needed something to happen, right? I feel like a lot of you guys have really been struggling in a lot of different um, scenarios. And what I mean by that is like, 
everyone watching this video from case to case is struggling in a wildly different way, but you know, you're putting out your intentions and you want things to change and now the huge change is coming, right? And if you're willing to work with the tower card, it can be one of the most beneficial cards in the tarot because it allows you to make those huge sweeping changes in a way that's effective and quick. Um, you just have to be willing to work with it and not work against it. And I feel like with this Nine of Cups, like not only are you guys wishing for it, but you're eager and you're going to get this change and you're going to make your life better. And that's amazing energy. And you have the Ace of Wands with the Seven of Wands. So that to me is a huge combination, like a hugely powerful combination. With the Ace of Wands, you have a new passionate beginning. So it feels like right now you're a little bit discontent. You're a little bit sort of mellow um just kind of like in a rut or maybe like slightly depressed um but this tower moment is going to inject some and i think like re-inject some vigor some life into you and that's going to bring in this ace of wands right and it probably isn't going to be the tower moment itself but the fact that you're going to have all this open space to do with whatever you want is going to be so powerful and it's going to be so liberating for you in a weird way that you're going to realize that, you know, you are worth fighting for. Your life is worth fighting for. And you're going to, instead of just kind of watching it go by, you're going to be an active um, member of your life, right? And I feel like for a lot of you guys, you've kind of let yourself go a little bit. And I don't mean that like in a physical sense, although it may be. I feel like you've just kind of become complacent and a little like discontent and allowed that to happen. But... With this tower moment, you're going to see that huge revelation. Um, I actually meant to say the word revolution, but the fact that I said the word revelation to me makes me feel like there's probably going to be some huge um, information that gets um, presented to you by your whatever your um, divine entity of choice is. And I feel like at the end of it, you're going to come out a much more powerful, strong person, sort of tying back into the strength card. But we have the page of swords and the two of pentacles which to me feels like you guys are kind of dealing with some kind of um juggling here because the two of pentacles seeks to s balance out something right he's trying to make these two energies match so i feel like you guys are kind of in the middle of two competing energies and that's why you have sort of this um and you may very well be on like a side in a team or whatever, but it feels like there's two kind of competing energies here and that's why you guys have your hands tied. And with this Page of Swords, I feel like you're already kind of beginning to formulate uh, everything that you need mentally, right? And the reason I say that is because I feel like for some of you guys, this change, this tower card is going to be so impactful and so profound in your life that you're going to have to be a little bit more mentally prepared for that. And this page of swords is you preparing to mentally prepare, if that makes sense. Because the pages to me are sort of that beginning stage of communication, or at least in this case, because we have the page of swords and it feels like eventually you're going to get up to your uh, king or queen of page, or sorry, king or queen of swords energy, um, which is you because you're a uh, Libra and air sign. But I feel like right now you're just beginning the process. And that's okay and that's good because I don't think that this tower card is coming like tomorrow, but I feel like it is coming soon. And by the time it comes, you're going to be prepared for it because it almost feels like partially like at least for some of you guys this tower card doesn't even feel like it's a force majeure it feels like it's kind of like made by you almost like a man-made tower moment um i feel like you guys are really taking your life into your own hands and you're really getting sick and tired of being in this nine of swords energy because the nine of swords energy is that anxiety that i was talking about earlier it's the sleepless nights it's not being able to sleep and you know, I feel like up until now, you've had to have the strength to be able to pull through and manage, but you're exiting this sort of survival period energy, and now you're entering your thriving energy. Um, with this King of Cups, right, for some of you guys, that might be a romantic partner, or for some of you guys, it might be sort of, I'm almost getting father figure as well, so you might be finding solace in somebody who is able to help. Um, water sign energy is present here with the King of Cups, which is 
Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. So for some of you guys, those signs might be very beneficial, might be very good for calming you down. But I feel like this person is either, like this King of Cups is either a person in your life that provides you with some kind of comfort, or it's you harnessing these skills within yourself and sort of providing comfort for yourself in these dark moments of the Nine of Swords energy. Either way, I see you becoming very, like, spiritually tough. Um, and I also see you becoming much more resilient. And you have a lot of grit to you. And I feel like now, you know, you're more tougher than ever because you have the Strength card. And you're ready to really... It's like there's an old building and you're ready to demolish it to make room for something bigger, better, uh, stronger, more powerful because that's what you are and that's what you deserve. And you know that because you have the Seven of Wands. So, Libra, that was your reading for today. Uh, that was a very nice reading. I hope that you enjoyed. But if you did, I would love it if you guys left a comment or a like because it really helps out the channel. And I personally really love to know if these readings resonate with you guys. But like I said before, I upload my new videos for Libra on Mondays. But in the meantime, you guys are more than welcome to watch any of my other Thomas readings that I have up on the channel. And with that being said, I hope to see you guys next time for your next reading.